All right, so here it is, the robot dog. Um, I've assembled it, and um, so as you can see, it still needs to, the wires still need to be neatened up a little bit, and it moves a little slowly. It still needs a little bit of um, a, a little bit of tweaking and uh, calibration. I think I'm not quite sure. So uh, yeah, there, there's my there's the GUI you can control it from. This one's launched from Linux. You can you can launch from Linux, Mac OS, Android, or iOS. Um, in any case, uh, yeah, so I actually have the full video for this, the full video that shows how I assembled this robot coming up soon. Um, but I, I wanted to get a quick demo video out real quick just to, just so people can see what the robot looks like. Um, I, I don't have, I haven't ironed out all the issues with it yet. It's, it's still, you know, as you can see, moving slow and stuff. So, um, yeah, so, so that's, that's pretty much the state of it right now. And, um... And yeah, yeah, the full video where I assembled it and I go through all the steps, like I show you how to configure all the software, set up the client, set up the server software. You know, you get, you have to, you have a lot of extra steps you have to do. You have to like um, set up VNC because um, uh, apparently the the server software on the robot has to run in a GUI, and there are issues if you don't. Some of the setup processes and calibration programs also need to run in the GUI. Um, so apparently, you just you need to use VNC. So there, there are a bunch of different steps we had to go through. And um, I'm going to try to cover those. I, I, I have those all recorded, but um, I just haven't finished editing the video. And I wanted to at least get this quick demo video out uh, for the time being. Um, so anyways, yeah, so this is it. This is me. Um, so you, you can't see, but off off uh, camera on the monitor up above, I'm fiddling around with the controls a bit, trying to get the, the light on the that, that circle. But there, there we go. The LED lights are circling around there now. Um, and you can you can make it do a few different things. You can make them move around in a pattern. And this one is like I guess they call it breathing, where it cycles between different colors. So you can make it do different. And there's 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 the controls for it. So um, and then the controls seem a little bit finicky. I think like it gives you more options if you're launching it from a from like like Linux, Mac, or a a, a Windows PC. But um, it's uh, you, you can do a lot of this stuff from uh, from mobile, from like iOS or Android. I, I've actually connected it connected to it from both of them and um it, i like the interface the mobile interface a bit better but uh it doesn't seem like it has as many options and i haven't gone through and like compared them you know side by side yet i've i've only just played around with it a little bit so far um it does have a lot of neat features the facial recognition mostly works i haven't you know done a lot of deep testing with it but yeah it will recognize your face you can take, take pictures stream video I'm going to show that in a little bit. Um, there's me testing the buzzer, but you can't hear it because I cut the sound out because I'm doing a voiceover. Um, you can make it track a ball. Um, you can make the head go up and down. I should have probably done that for the video. I don't show everything in this video, but I tried to cover you know a few of the basic things just to get a quick demo in there. Um, one of the things I didn't like about the robot is the battery just seems to go really fast, which you kind of got to expect with all the motors that it's powering. Um, you know, it's powering the Raspberry Pi and a whole bunch of motors too. Um, yeah, so, so by the time I finish like tinkering around with it and playing with it, it's, you know, by the time I actually get it doing something, it's running out of battery before you know it. But, um, you know, once, once you kind of know what you're doing, then you could start it up and have a, a little bit more time to actually play with it. And you actually, you can see here, um, is this, is this where it disconnects? I think it's about to disconnect in a, in a minute. Um, yeah, I think it's it's becoming unresponsive, and you can see the the uh, the LEDs that indicate battery power are, are actually off right now on the on the robot board. So the board on the top is the Raspberry Pi, and the board underneath it is the robot board that controls all the servos and stuff. So I think I've actually lost connectivity to it at this point, and it's gonna there we go right up there. It shows um, you know attempting to connect to the VNC server. So that means the uh, Raspberry Pi itself has shut down, even though the robot board is still powered on. Then see see this is where those little four LEDs um, you, you can't quite unless you know which ones to look for. But there's four LEDs like right in the middle of the screen that are all not lit up. So uh, yeah, th those LEDs would actually be, uh, you know, all four of them would be lit up if it's at full power. And usually, like it, it jumps down to three pretty quick because the power drains pretty quick. But um, yeah, so we just lost power, and that that's pretty much it. So that's it for this demo video. Um, we're, we're gonna have the full video where we assemble it coming up soon. So you know, keep your, um, you know, so just watch out for that video. 
Um, you might want to subscribe if you want, you know, if you want to see the next update. I know I, I kind of promised this update. I've been promising the next video for this for a while, and it, it just hasn't come out yet. But um, I do have a ton of pending content to release, and um, you, you're, you're probably going to want to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you get an alert when I come out with my next video. Um, hoping to get that next video edited really quick, and um, we. And we have other robots and other neat projects to, to do too. But yeah, give, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, thumbs down is fine too, up to you. Leave a comment down below, comments, questions, anything. Um, I, do, I do have to get back to a lot of people. A lot of people have commented and I haven't replied yet. But um, yeah, I do try to keep on top of comments. So, you know, I, I want to hear what you think. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And as always, hopefully you like this video. And we'll see you next time.